to Bone Slicer's UT3 video tutorials and today we're going to extend this is going to be part three of the large terrain video tutorial and we're going to add some materials to this uh, what we want to do pick up where we left off here is we want to come up to terrain editing mode and left click our terrain editing mode icon and this will bring up to our editor here where we can actually add materials. Uh, what we want to do now is kind of bring this down a little bit. Come up to the generic browser here and left click on that. Bring all this up here. In our generic browser we want to make sure that only materials is checked and everything else is unchecked. And show all resources type is unchecked. And then click file, open, double click on my computer C drive program files and go down to Unreal Tournament 3 double click that UT game folder cooked PC folder environments folder go all the way down to the bottom to you see three terrain packages and hold down control and left click each one release control and click open alright now what we can do is scroll down and uh, just so you know because uh, a lot of people don't know this there's a little icon up here a spear perimeter and then a plane right now it's on plane but if you click spear you can see your materials as they are appear as round and because the old editor used uh, textures and uh, this editor uses materials which are uh, different things combined to make a material different textures and other things combined shaders and so forth to make a material uh, what we want to do is click out maybe a grass or something that we want to use here our material and I'll just click the first one you see that's actually a grass and highlight that and bring uh, bring our terrain editor over here let's see let's do it right here you can see what I'm doing okay and what I want to do is uh, right click on terrain layer setup let's left click on it first I'm sorry then right click on it and what we want to do is new terrain material just click new terrain material and what map do we want to use well uh, currently it's the uh, tutorial map and I mean whatever map you're using at the top of your editor whatever you named your map that's what you want to use uh, so currently mine is uh, let's see what it is oh there it's already in there VCTF large terrain tutorial and uh, for my group I'm just gonna call this grass okay and I'm gonna call this for the name I'm sorry for the group I'm gonna call this materials this is the materials group material not s uh, and for the name I'm gonna call this uh, grass one and then I'm going to click OK now you'll see that it actually put a grass in here alright so what you want to do is left click again over here in your generic browser and highlight that material again and this little white box to the right of the grass go ahead and double click that and it'll come up and there'll be material down here under materials will say none well there's a little green arrow click that to use the material and once you do that, bring everything down and build all and save.
this is a pretty large terrain so it's going to take a few minutes to build here and I'm running at a quad core 3.2 gigahertz so shouldn't take too long all right now that's done you want to click file save current level Alright, now once you bring your editor back up here, you'll see that you have a grass. So you can do the same thing with every material, okay? So we can add some dirt. So let's let's go ahead and uh, right click again and new terrain material again. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah, new terrain material again. And this time what we're going to do is call this material also. And this time we're going to name it Dirt 1. Okay. Click OK. <clears throat> As you can see, I didn't have anything selected that time. But you don't really have to. But now we can select it. So we come over here. Scroll down. Let's find us some dirt. And let's see. There's some dirt with some rock on it. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that, it's a little darker looking. So highlight that, and then over here on your dirt, double click it, and from there it's true, I'll click use here. And you'll see it added in there. And just uh, let's build all and save again. Double click an icon up here. Okay, it's still building. Here we go. Getting close. There we go. Now click File, Save Current Level. Exit out of this. No errors. Now, exit out of this. Now you see we have a couple different materials there now. We have grass, we have dirt. What else do you think we might need? We need some more rock. Let's go down here and find some rock. And let's see here. <clears throat> let's use this. Uh, Let's just use this for the heck of it. Here's a light looking rock. Let's use a dark one. Let's just use that one right there. Uh, scroll down here. Let's see. Let's see when I add new material. Put this in material. Rock one. And you can name it rock two if you decide to add more or something. <coughs> Click OK. You now have uh, a rock, so I'm going to add that one. We're going to highlight it again. Click Use. Build all and save. 